Governor Abbott helped cut the ribbon on a new $40 billion factory that's set to produce semiconductor chips in North Texas. The Texas Instruments plant will also create about 3,000 new jobs. Fox Wars' Alex Boyer in our newsroom with details. Hey, Alex. Hey, Clarice. You know, this project has been years in the making, and the new semiconductor wafer fabrication facility will produce millions of chips locally. That's used to power all sorts of technology that we really rely on every single day. It took three and a half years to transform this empty plot of land in Sherman, located about 60 miles north of Dallas, into Texas Instruments' new 300-millimeter semiconductor wafer fabrication facility. We are proud to officially announce that SM1 is in production. Wednesday morning, Governor Greg Abbott joined the company's president and CEO for a ribbon-cutting ceremony. This one factory will be able to produce tens of millions of chips per day. That's a big deal. Paving the way for safer and more connected vehicles and making the electronics we depend on every day, from the medical devices monitoring your health to the smartphone in your pocket, smarter, more efficient, and more reliable. The semiconductor chips will also help data centers popping up in Texas meet the growing demand for artificial intelligence. With today's announcement, Texas Instruments has made a Texas size investment, adding billions of dollars in investment, as well as thousands more employees. And it's an exciting you know, development in like the Texas high tech space. Dr. Joshua Rhodes is a research scientist at UT Austin. Rhodes says the semiconductor facility should make a huge difference in shortening the supply chain. During the pandemic, we saw, you know, supply chain interruptions, meaning, you know, we couldn't get the components we needed to make the products that we wanted to, to buy and consume. That included chips needed to power the technology in new cars, which meant thousands of new vehicles sat idle at car dealerships for months during the height of the pandemic. Dr. Rhodes says TI's new facility is also good for future business development. Development. The more high tech, you know, that we bring to the state, you know, the more high tech that then will come to the state. And to that point, Governor Abbott says Texas is now leading the nation in semiconductor manufacturing capacity and is the number one in the state for semiconductors. Pretty cool. Clarice. Alex, thank you.